Lange Bastion. Ooh, I like that. Turn on a Ragsy Boy, turn to Ren and Six. Line me up. What do I have to get? Sacred Foundry or Steam Vents? Perhaps Steam Vents because of Counterspell. So probably Merc Tides. That was a good draw. All right, really good start. Can't ask for much more. Sulfur Falls. Huh, does that mean they're some kind of control deck? I don't know if I need to be worried about Blood Man. I'll go get... We get planes. Plus, it's your eye in my hand, I guess. <laughs> and Yuri on is greedy. Maybe to just go snap on that bolt. Or present bar. Yo, Father Frodo. Just like clockwork. Thank you so much, Father Frodo. You really don't have to, but obviously I do appreciate it. And um, yeah, just thanks for all the support. All right, I should discard the lands. Probably Hallowed Fountain. All right, I was, I was gonna say that was a great draw, but because I got planes last turn, it's a little awkward. So I already got steam vent. I only get, hmm. I mean, I'm gonna get sacred foundry or stomping ground anyways. Uh, did I play Ren and keep on holy heat up? That's decent. Jamming Omnath, forcing them to counter is also pretty decent. I kind of like that, actually, I think. In which case, I should have played Flooded Strand to get Island. That's not great. Yeah. I want to I wanna use my mana. Okay. That was a little mistake here. So I want to get, like... Breeding pole works, right? Green, white, blue, red. And this way, next round, I can play red and six with counter spell mana up. Let me update the deck list command. Oh, dress down. Hmm. I mean, they still have to kill it. Fire ice. That value. Okay, they're still incredibly hard, far behind. So, how greedy do you want to be? Do you want to go Omnath Ren? Or does Ren counter spell up? I think this Omnath Ren is just probably buries them. Also, I don't want to... Mm. Oh, they could have Unholy Heat, actually. Maybe that play was not good. I guess if they had Unholy Heat, they would have played it. Oh, wow, I drew Teferi. Jeez. That was gas.
Playing that first in case they have Spell Pierce in their deck. A plus, even if they can have Unholy Heat, they have so many reds they have to worry about with their own Holy Heat. I mean, I guess there could be some kind of combo deck. That's the way I'll lose if they're like Fruit of Reach and Recall. Don't look like that's what they're playing though, but. All right. Um... Attack. Play a land. Just play a Yorion, maybe? All right, this was easy mode. On the play, Ragavan ran. Just action loaded hand. Just kind of the freebie. I just kill them, maybe. My one damage short. Huh. I'll ping them so they can't fetch. Sure, I'll cast it. <laughs> All Sudoku. All right, blue reds. Blue red, blue red, blue reds. To worry about about Dresden. Veil is good against them. So they play four snap, two brazen boar, one jace, one rawl, one dress down in the main. Sideboard they have two flusters from four relic, another dress down subtlety, tempted by the auric, and recall. Okay, so two blood moons in the main. So relic, relic endurance kind of okay against them. Ashok, they have eight fetch lands. Ashok's pretty bad against Brazen Bar, though. Force of Negation. They have Deluge, it's kind of okay. And then Dress Down against Snap, maybe. Then maybe Baseju for Blood Man. Okay, what's bad? Spreading Sea's kind hey, of Dad, bad. Please continue being awesome. Missy Calm, thank you so much. So nice. Thanks for the 19 months, too. So, what's bad against them? Solitude's pretty bad. Fury's pretty bad. They have one Jace, one Rawl, though. Ending in March. March, they have one Hall. Snap, Brazen Bar. Does get rid of Blood Moon. Does not get rid of Planeswalkers, though. I can board out the March. I can board out one ending. I can board out Solitude's pretty bad against Blood Moon. At least Fury can cast on their Blood Moon. Okay. And on the draw, I think Ashok lines up a little too poorly. Spreading seas, no good. March or prismatic ending. They don't have a ton of planeswalkers, but the one Jace is pretty scary. The fact that March works against Blood Moon is nice. Also, just instant speed against 
brazen bar could be good. All right, this looks okay. Could have done an explosives too, maybe. Kind of a medium hand. King against team vents. Might have counter spell and force up. I think I have to keep, but I might just not play Ragavan on turn one. We'll see. Hmm. Well, he played a Nylon on one, so I'm going to go ahead and play my Ragavan. Kind of interesting. It's kind of nice if I can just get the Triome because of um, this gives me like mana. No counter spell, so I'm digging something. Ooh, no, uh, he could still have snap to just trade. Does that make a difference for me? Windswept heave. And that's counter to snap, maybe? Kind of getting Hallowed Fountain is nice anyways, in that spot. Or is it? Hmm. Kind of interesting. No, I want to get... Thing is, if I play Windswept Heath and he doesn't have Snap to block Ragavan, then if I want to play my Ice Fang, I have to get... Green White? We're going to get Green Blue and still not have White, I guess. I'm going to play it anyways. Getting that Ragavan first, pretty big deal. Why is it so gay to get, uh... Why is it going to get blue-white, right? Blue-white, and then I have... Next turn. Yeah, it's it's super nice. I get the treasure. I still have force, maybe, if they have something nasty. It's sulfur falls. Could play the very first. Think they might have bolt plus fluster storm or something. Just another snap. All right. Well, had I known, I would have played the very first. So, why do they have instant creature only? So pretty hard for them to have Unholy Heat. I just plus. Could have played Teferi pre-combat if I put them on Snapcaster. But it's not even that great. They play Snap, I have to Teferi, I have to bounce it, and then they get played on their turn. Flashback to consider. It would have been super amazing, honestly. Could have gone Ice Fang, bounce my Ice Fang. And still have Force of Negation mana up. Maybe that was better. Get Secret Foundry. I'm going to plus the fairy again. I don't think they have Merktide region, but just in case. I do have seven cards in hand, but it seems hard for them. For each opponent, gain control of up to one target creature. So it does target. Okay. I'm 
Okay, it's time. Main. Then I don't have devil blue. It's kind of tempting to counter that. They're taking so much damage. I mean, just replay it, right? I don't think I care that much. Ooh, Ren. All right, I guess shield's kind of down. Just get basic mountain. No need to nuke my life total for no reason. Dash that, see what's up. Oh, I could have killed him this turn. Did I just miss lethal? Sure did. Okay. First time for everything. Okay, they did have an answer for uh, Kanye and Fluster Storm. It. Hey, Elise. I played some. Oh, yeah, you are here. I was going to say I played some vintage yesterday, it was fun. I got the 2 and 2 record I needed uh, to get the QPs for today. Yeah. Vintage is fun and Legacy is probably all in the same vein. The deck was sweet too, kind of my style. Alright, let's play the fairy first. Might as well fight over that, right? It's kind of the same thing, I guess. They need snap. They need snap number three. All right, they have one card left. So I can just get, I need blue. So I need green fetch land. Oh, no, I don't need blue, I just need any, any, any mana. The one lightning bolt. Classic one lightning bolt for the last three points of damage. Who bullies you better, Luis or Andrew? I haven't spent that much time in person with Luis. Like we've never, I don't think we've ever been together in a testing house for like hanging out a lot and stuff. Andrew doesn't really bully me. Probably Elise then. They're playing first. Well, let's see what I'm up against. Or potentially up against. Modern Oops All Spells. That's their latest five lane modern. This hand doesn't do much. Big doesn't do much against Oops All Spells, though. And before that, they were playing Human's Company. I mean, I have decent mana. I have Counterspell mana. I can get Raw Grain Triumph into Ice Fang. Into... I mean, it's really slow, but... Let me see. When was that? 22... It was almost a month ago, though. Their last 5 in the league. And besides that, they played a bunch of football, so they could be... They could be a lot of different decks. I guess I'm just going to keep my hand. Lands and spells. Reasonable. Plus the mulligan one, so... This might be good enough. Feels a little underwhelming. If I was on the play, I'd feel better about it. 
basic forest grazer oof yikes all right where are my beseju and they have the nuts too hope i don't go ragged man I'd say it's one of the worst matchups. But on the bright side, I do have pretty reasonable sideboard. I have two dress downs and an Ashiok, Force of Vigor, second Basaju, so we'll see. Maybe I'll just draw my one march like a like a scumbag. Yeah, spreading seas would be just as good. Land and land. I always feel it feels like this has been happening a lot lately when I can't keep sketchy hands and just land land snap. Could argue for iteration here just to dig. I feel like Feeling desperate, so I don't really need the extra land. Huh. What one mana spells can I hit that are relevant? Just abundant growth and the one march. Um man. I mean I have the loot. Okay, if I play Ice Fang next turn, I draw two. Ice Fang is going to block one day. I have one. I can get another one. I have five lands. I don't think need the extra land. A counter spell is good. Spreading Seas is good. The Fairy is kind of okay. The one march is good. I need I need something good next turn. I need a good play next turn. I think counter spell is ice fang makes sense. This is kind of interesting if I start playing Ireland or the Death Touch or Oh, that makes it kind of easy, I guess. Or I was going to say, if I play Foundry, yeah. Uh... Oh, man. This game is going to be tough. Just, uh, just their board is annoying, let alone uh, what's coming next. Oh man. All right on time. Alright, I need to get rid of Amulet. Not necessarily right away. But it does shrink their tokens. So I guess probably yes. Do I need to keep counter spell mana up? Next turn I could go. Spreading seas on the grill turf, and then they might bounce their bounce lands. I guess countering a, dry a dryad is pretty important. Can they have dryad the way the game played out? What happened last turn? They floated and did nothing, right? Oh no, they, they made a token, so they could have dryad in hand. But Dryad's not the biggest deal in the world. All right. Love to see it. Oh, I can't even play Foundry. I need to get Death Touch. 
I'll play Force in case I draw Omnath. Oh, no, I can't even cast Omnath with that mana. Play the Mountain, make sure I have Death Touch in case they play an artifact. Like, if they play a cheap artifact, I don't want, I don't have to counter it necessarily. All right, I mean, that's fine. I knew that could happen. It's not the end of the world. Oh, I forgot about, how many times did I forget about Yurion? Hopefully zero. Yeah, no, I don't think I forgot about Yurion yet. Bun and gross and pretty mediocre. Okay, on Holy Heat was four card types. Not bad. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. On Holy Heat, a grazer. Force a trade. Right. Paying a token. Play a Ragavan. That's Fury. No. I guess I can attack with Ice Fang too, right? Are they ever not? I mean, I guess there's a sm no, it's not worth it. Maybe they don't block for some reason. All right, I can fetch another forest. I can play a Von and Gross on... Oh. Oh, I don't have the mana to... to I guess I can just dash Ragavan next turn. Maybe that was bad, but I just did. Wait, do I need to keep counter spell mana up? Given what we know, maybe not. I guess next turn I have enough mana to go. So they can't have the green land into thingy. They could have amulet. They can't have Amlet into Bounce Lands. I think I can play the Ragavan. It might, it might make a difference next turn. It's kind of a big deal for my next turn to, to have the extra mana with Yorion and Delusion, my graveyard and stuff. I mean, I guess it could have been sandbagging a whole lot. Okay, I'd have a grazer. It was it was still kind of nice that I uh because I can attack ping deluge one two three four five six seven <clears throat> Question is I believe in miracles. No, I don't. So I'm going to play a Bun and Gross first. And I already down to 17 minutes. Ooh, Basaju. Well, I should start believing in miracles, I guess. Wow, what a draw. What a draw. Yeah, Basaju is going to be better for Titan decks and Tron decks than it's, it's going to be for the Fair decks. Yeah. Hot take. Oh wait, no. Oh wait. You're completely wrong. Sorry, that's the blush. Oh, and it's only one mana. Damn. So good. Can I put thingy in my hand? No. I want to keep counterspell mana up. Let's not be too greedy. They could have um oh yeah, plus they can have the the thingy land. Gap's commentary of referring to old cards as thingy is riveting. Probably 
got it from Liz or something. Bad habits. All right, dress down, second Basaju, Ash Yacht, Force of Vigor. And I think that's it. All right, Ragavan is awful. Lightning Bolts, pretty bad. Ice Fangs, medium. The rest is probably pretty good. Or some negation and dispute. Or some negation is kind of okay, I guess. Explosives. Ugh. Explosives, explosives. Explosives, probably kind of okay. Fury. I could do something like that, maybe. Unholy Heat, yes. These cards, yes. I could board out the lands. No, that doesn't make sense. These cards, yes. Teferi, yes. Ice Fang is okay. And it pitches to Force of Vigor, so green cards go up in value. These cards, yes. These, yeah, this looks pretty good, right? Explosive. I could do Force of Negation. Pretty good against Pact, but... Okay, up a game in a tough matchup. I mean, their draw was bad, but I guess it happens sometimes. The Titan deck has a little bit of variance to it. Wrong land. All right, I have, I have Ren spreading seeds to Fairy. This looks like a keep. Beast, beast mode. It's kind of nice when you, um, hmm, which one should I get? Temple Garden, Basic Forest, because if I play Breeding Pool and I want to play Ren, it means I have to fetch Dockland anyways. This way I can, it's going to be a lot of damage, I guess. I guess it doesn't matter too much what I get. As long as it's tap for green. Come on, Basaju. Land a land. Oh no, I do a bond and gross. Never mind. I'm just uh Alright, they have potential Titan mana next turn. I might have to spreading seas. Does it matter? No, I have six mana anyways if they have a bounce land. On holy heat. So Fury would have been good. Or some negation would have been kind of good. Explosive would have been not very good. I guess maybe Fury, maybe you want Fury on the draw. All right, that four. If they have bounce land, Titan, there's nothing I can do about it. So I should play Spreading Seas, I think, on Gross Chamber, just in case they have the castle. And I should play a uh, Stomping Ground or Breeding Pool. Which one's better? Probably Breeding Pool. That's good for me, second cavern. That's kind of like deadish cards. Not a dryad, that's really good for me too. Not a deadish card in their hand. All right, so what now? I could maybe main phase Ice Fang in case I draw Spreading Seas. I could play Teferi. Yeah, just main face Ice Fang, I guess, even though it's not very exciting. Might even Chum Block. Does that make sense? Ooh. More damage. Hmm. 
Okay, obviously I want to keep a chum blocker to make their life a bit difficult. Interesting draw. Sorcery, land, I can chump. So I think I want to go in the amulet and then to fairy plus or to fairy minus and then just to fairy minus actually, right? And then chump. I can go to fairy plus chump. It goes down to two. Or it goes on to free, and then next turn I go minus on one, and then I can unholy hit the other one. Whereas if I minus now, I get to keep it to fair in play, but who cares? Okay, I'm gonna plus. I could have also minus on an abundant growth. Oh, that was probably the play. And then they attack both at the fairy. And then I chomp, I, I chomp and both at me. All right, I'll still chomp. Hmm. Kind of a weird play by them. All right, they have six mana. Six mana. And Holy Heat kills a Titan. Solitude kills stuff too. Alright. So what do they get with Titan at this point? They just get a bunch of uh, of Urza Saga maybe. We can play Island. Plus the Fairy. No. Okay, they're going to play a Titan next turn, almost 100%. And then they're going to get... Oh, they have Valakut. Right. I'm dumb. So I need to start by... Bouncing a Dryad. Oh, the Colossus. So how does it work if I kill it? Do they get to keep doing it or? Not even sure. It's just one trigger, right? You may put a land card onto the battlefield tab if you do draw a card and repeat this process. That sucks. All right, rules question chat. How does that work? The trigger happens whether it dies or not. They keep going, but they gain less life. What? Oh, yeah. The problem is that if they have Valakut, I'm kind of screwed, right? No, I'm not screwed. Yeah, I'm kind of screwed. No, I'm not screwed. Okay. Okay, so I just let them... I just let them... Um, I, I need to see whether one of the lands is Valakut or not. Wait, do they do they keep going? Are you sure, chat? Are you sure that's how the card works? Oh, they stopped? Oh, nice. So should I sell it to dry it now so they can't play more lands? They've played a land this turn? No, they haven't played a land yet. And we know they don't have more lands, and that's just one trigger, right? It's not like. So they have all spells in hand. <clears throat> I mean, I don't even really want to sell it to dead, but I guess I have to. Come keep taking infinite damage. Not bad. Uh, 
That's kind of lucky. Only one trigger on the Colossus. Dude, they don't even have a Titan. Uh, I better win this game because there's not a ton of time left for another one. I have 10 minutes left on my clock. Wow. Classic. Classic me's. Amulet. Okay, so now Titan gets scarier. Let's start by attacking. Actually, I should have cast Iteration first. Iteration, right? Yes. Omnath ending. It's pretty good. Now thingy is a little less scary. And now I can plus the fairy. Okay, looking good. I wonder what they have, maybe more dryads? More grazers? Hamlets? Ding, ding, ding. Very nice. All right, we got there. And like one of the, one of the tough matchups too. Nice. I even forgot about Yurion. Classic. They made a difference. Well played. Um, yeah, I played fine. I probably played good. Maybe forgot about the comrade towards the end when it didn't really matter anymore. All right, chats. Brunister, Lurus. I don't have the worst hand against a Lurus deck. Let's see what kind of Lurus deck they usually play. Pioneer League, Orzov, Orzov, Aura, Orzov, Aura. Their last modern tournament is Ragdus Midrange, actually. But that was literally six months ago. And they didn't even have Laris. Seems like a fine keep. They're probably like Hammer Time. Is the most uh, most common Laris deck these days. All right, it's Ragdus. All right, they're off to a really good start. They got the bubble secured for Lurus down the line. The kit on top, yikes. Okay, they now have a Triome. I wonder if I even get the Dragon Rage Channel right away. I played Temple Garden that lets me cast all my two mana spells, right? Not iteration on turn three, though. I don't think there's a single land that lets me cast all my spells, though. It doesn't seem totally awful to give them. I guess then they could draw like Inquisition. All right. He said a cycling land, who knows? They all make a difference at some point. Yeah. Rough. This game's looking a little grim. No more stomping ground to fetch.
Okay, now I'm drawing a solitude. This game's looking pretty, 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 pretty grim. Very, very rough. All right, I decided not to play into my solitude. Let's get ourselves raw grain trium, I guess. Could put Yurion in my hands. I get the fairy minus. The fairy minus not the worst. Yorion in my hand can't be too wrong either. Cycling can be okay. I don't know. Man, they didn't even um they didn't put Lurus in their hand? Weird. Teferi feels bad. I'm not gonna do Teferi, I don't think so. Maybe just cycling? Is cycling somehow more valuable than the Yorion? Yorion doesn't do much for me right now. Could pitch it to Solitude, but I think I'd rather pitch to Fairy. I think that cycling is the the better play. I'm a little surprised they didn't just put Loris in their hand right away with two bubbles in the graveyard. Maybe they just forgot about it. They probably have a lot of removal spells in hand. Maybe something like a Culligan's Command. Maybe that's why they were keeping mana up. What now? I want to hard cast uh, Fury next turn. The fairy might actually be like counterproductive. Maybe they don't recast uh, Chandler right away. So their hand's probably a bunch of unholy heats, fatal pushes, etc., etc. All right, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna bounce the. Bounce the Chandler. They still kind of have to do something about that Teferi. If I untap with it, I'm pretty happy about it. All right, I want to get red mana. I could just get basic mountain. This way I'm like just one of Ice Fang. I don't need to do that right away. Maybe the one damage actually ends up mattering though. Well, unfortunate I draw all these lands. All right, Jig is up. Bye bye, Fury. Assuming bye bye, Fury. Me, bye bye, Solitude. Okay. Their turn's just like Ragavan attack the Fairy. It's not the end of the world for me. Buying myself some time. I need to start drawing. A bun and gross and spreading seas would be nice. Well, any spell really. Yeah. Me? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, they know I have another Teferi. It's kind of nice they're breaking. If they ever hit like a Ren and Six. That the game probably close to ends, given that they already have all spells in hand. All they're missing is mana. Okay, can lose that. About and gross. I guess just a fairy, right? To fairy minus, yikes. I 
<laughs> Target artifact, enchantment, or non basic lands. Well, unlucky. I got a lot of lands, a lot, a lot of lands. These are exiling lands every turn, that's kind of nice. Too bad it's not the red one. The red one would have been amazing. The red one was really good again for me in this similar spot last time. Against um hmm. Should I play land first? Oh, uh, I guess I have to sack a treasure. I don't get the mana. If I play the land first, I get four life guaranteed. But if I play the land, if I don't play the land, I mean, hmm. what are the odds they don't have an unholy heat or fiddle push? They have Lurus, Ragavan in hand, and then three non land cards. And my life total is getting pretty low. Man, that's kind of a tough spot. I mean, I could just be greedy, right? I could just... I guess it's not even being greedy. All right, I'll just do that. I'll do that. I'll play a fetch land. I should have maybe... I maybe messed up. I maybe should have played a fetch land last turn already. All right, obviously this is a disaster if they have a thought seize, but we know they don't have one right now. Can we keep dodging? It's kind of a classic mistake to not play your fetch lands in advance in case you draw a math. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Probably gonna draw every counter spell now, but it's fine. Oh, it actually plussed. Okay. <clears throat> Man, I kind of want to hold. I kind of want to hold the Omnath one more turn. Nah, I have to believe believe in heart of the cards a bit. Can I hold Omnath one more turn? Kind of. Could go Ren, get back a Triome. Go down to five from Ragavan. Go down to two from a Bolt. Uh, what's in these Ragdos decks already? Kruxa. Uh, they probably don't even play Bolt for Bolt, right? And every turn that passes, they could draw Thoughtseize. All right, I'm gonna play the Elmnaf and hope, uh, hope I can snowball a bit. Who knows, maybe they don't have a removal spell. Lol. Oh, it's Terminate. I was looking if you could target for yourself with Besaju. You cannot though. Oh, well, we know they're not ghosting. It's always nice when they pass the ghost test. They don't have another on the holy heat. It's kind of nice. I get to keep by Ren and Six. And why didn't I just cast Fury targeting to Fairy actually? Last turn. Is there a good reason not to do that? Yeah, that was a mistake, I guess. 
I guess I would have lost my Renin 6 to, to Inquisition in Heinz, but yeah, that was probably the play. I kind of didn't even see the line. Looks like they're not seeing the line either, because they're not drawing a card up there to Fairy when they now have uh, Fury in hand. All right, do I have basic mountain left in my deck? Yes, I do. I guess I don't even have to iterate, right? I have a play I'm really happy with. So I should probably just... Is that too weak? Well, that's probably pretty good. Use my Ren while I can. Get it back. Play another fetch plant. Get stuff ready for classic, uh, classic Urborgs right there. Helping your opponents more. I do need to play a bit faster though, and then we're gonna have time to finish three long games. All right, I think I'm in a good spot. I feel like I've stabilized. They're still stuck on land somehow. And they got Unlucky on Ragavan, that was kind of key. Can I make up two minutes and a half? I think I can. Let's try playing fast. Dubs, okay. I'm half. I'm bad. All right, let's start by attacking to fairy. And I'm not sure what I should do. They're chum blocking. Wow. They somehow don't have a removal spell for it. What? Nah. Do I need a damage step? All oh, right. They have a. I don't know. I mean, that's still pretty good for me, I feel. Oh, I'm combat now. Forgot that too. <gasps> Every week. Every week that's what's gonna happen to me. <laughs> I tricked myself by putting damage tab, then somehow removed it. So I think what happened is I removed it. So it automatically went to my second main and then I clicked F2. Oh man. <laughs> I, mean, I think this game was over if I got to like play my spells on my turn. I think I might still be fine though. Unless they just burn me out with double bolts. Okay, that's fine. I can lose that. <laughs> I did the same thing last week. I lost the game because I like randomly unclicked my second main and it was it was disaster all right nice okay that looks like gg regardless of the misclicks decks too good cannot be stopped oh i actually get to draw the card too so i can fetch a bunch this way i like nuke the teferi it's kind of nice. Oh, I couldn't have backed it up as a counter spell, but still had to fairy. I actually needed them not to have a removal. I'm dumb. Okay. Let's do iteration, I guess. I want March in my hand, this and that. Let's play a nice thing. I could just play Yuri on now, honestly, I'm at eight. Seems pretty safe. Alright, even a uh, even mini time walk can't stop me. Colligan's command. Two damage here, get back a Chandler.
Actually, I could have used an extra white mana. That's bad. I should have just discarded stupid Basaju. I'm two minutes behind still. Yikes. Okay, nice. Wow. Appreciate opening, just not trying to milk uh, an extra minute out of the clock. All right, I might actually board out Basaju in this matchup. Veil is good. Relic is okay. Endurance is good. Basaju, Basaju. That's just 29 lands is enough. Spreading Seas is okay. What's bad against them? Counter spells, kind of. It's cheap though. In some ways, I feel like Fury's not great against them. You don't have the instant speed to get rid of Salt of Bragavan. They don't play Blood Moon, so you don't. I mean, it's a solid 5 drop. It's a very solid 5 drop. Also, Counterspell is a bad hit for their Ragavan, which is nice, I guess, if you want to. Things about like. Explosives. People know. People who watch the stream know I kind of despise explosives. <clears throat> I think Spreading Sea is kind of nice. It's decent against Croxa. Their mana is not the best, and it's nice with Yorion in the late game. I think my worst cards are Counterspell and Fury. Fury can be your best card, though. I think Counterspell is actually kind of decent against Lurus. Croxa are some really annoying cards. Let's do that. <clears throat> All right, turn one. Kind of depends, I guess. Probably turn on Mr. in Forest. All right, never mind. Well, let's see if they take the Veil or not. Obviously. It's kind of next level if they don't take the Veil. Oh, they took the Veil. Okay, it makes my life easy. That's a pretty great draw. So I can do Ice Fang and try and stop their thingy. Or I can get Ren going and kind of maybe force them to do something about it. Which is not trivial. I think it's kind of close actually. Because two mana, then have to pay one for the removal. Now they get to cast Prismatic Ending, the Fairy, oh, Torok. Well, I guess I'm glad I played Ren right away. Losing Ice Fang was kind of rough. That's not the worst, though. All right, I probably have to start uh, preserving my life total. Oh, huh. actually, somehow I feel like that interaction never came up for me before. I'm probably going to lose Ren. They might just go face. They also have Ragavan. I don't think I'm going to have time for that stuff. I'm just going to get that Flooded Strand. Oh, this game is looking super effed. Polarak wrecks me every time in this matchup. It's so good. It's yeah, it's very good. 
I mean, they kind of had the nuts. They're on the play. They went Batis, Dash, Ragavan, Torak. It's not easy to beat. Oh, and they didn't even play a land, so they have all spells. So I guess I should just... Oh, I guess I should just Deluge. Instead of Omnath. Also taxes their mana a tiny bit. Not really, they have treasure tokens. How many islands are gone? None. All right, I want the same thing on the play. I want turn one Ragavan, turn two Ren. I need Unholy Heat. That'd be a good start. Button Growth, Bunch of Lands, Iteration. I guess I'll take the spells. All right, Omnath is an absolute pipe dream. If I go fetch, deluge, go down to five, I die to a lightning bolt. That's pretty rough too. I mean, I guess they need not have terminate. I was gonna say they need exactly fatal push, but they also have terminate. And they haven't been putting Lurus in their hand. I could play my fetch land first, play a Nomnath, but then I lose to double removal spell. And even it only puts me up to, you know, it's not even that exciting. I think I need to just play a bond and grow some planes and hope to get lucky of like that draw step or iteration. Oh, I messed up. I should have put Abundant Gross on a fetch land. Wow. Oh, that was a big mistake. Oh, I drew a basic, so it doesn't matter as much now. Okay, so I should... Do I need these extra lands? Not really, right? Spreading seeds in my hand. That here. That there. Kill that. The genius of Canister playing on Holy Heat over Lightning Bolt. I think it's good to do it now, right? I mean, they can call against Command Torque back, but they sack all the trip. Yeah, it's not even a good play for them. Oh, I'm just dead. Looks like we're just dead. What should I discard? I want to play fetch land. I want to have another fetch land. Do I need all these fetch lands? No. Maybe. I'm guessing I'm just dead. I'm guessing they just have Volt Ragavan, but... Oh, and I have not a ton of time left. <laughs> well they're thinking about it or not I don't know are they thinking about it not really maybe I'll hit my own bolts I only have one though okay no lightning bolts so you're saying, so you're saying there's a chance. It's not even good, right? Can't even, uh, I mean, it barely pays for itself. I guess I still have to. All right, Forest Mountain, Prismatic Island. Oh, can I even, uh, does it even work? How does, how does it work? I can't pay the two right before I gain the life. And I want to play spreading seas, I guess. And I go up to five. I'm just dead anyways. 
I don't know how it works. Okay. Oh, how to waste a precious minute. Go down to two and the Chandler, I'm dead. I'm just dead, right? Man, I was close. If I had one more life, maybe I win. If I had one more life, maybe I win, right? As that thought sees for the second on math. There's probably some sequencing mistake at some point. You know what the one life might have been when I cycled a uh, trial on my turn and pumped the Torak? I could have cycled end of their turn. <laughs> kind of funny. Counterspell's not the worst on the play against Dash Ragavan. It's just having explosives for one chilling. That's kind of dead against Culligan's command. I have a lot of instant speed removal. Torg is kind of scary. Maybe that's why uh Dress Down and Counterspell. Maybe I just want Dress Down. I really do believe Fury kind of sucks. It does it's one of my few acts at Torak though. Maybe trim a prismatic ending? I don't hate it on the play. Also, Solitude. I don't hate it either. Dress down. It's good against Dash Bragavan. It's good to turn to play Luris. It's good against Torak. It can't trip. It's probably just still worse than a counter spell. I think it makes kind of makes sense, actually. Okay, I like that. Ha uh, man. Do you have double iteration? Concast a uh, ran six though. No removal, but I think this hand can can come back from a ragavan hit or two. Also I could just get lucky and it's also good against turn one iteration, man. No uh did I fetch right away for Triumph? Yeah, I should, right? No reason not to. Catrio. Is it better to have white up after my iteration or red up? It's probably better to have red up. No Ragavan, please. No, I have Ragavan 100%. Always easy. Uh. Okay. Didn't need that. Mount Ragavan. They have a lot of good hits. That's going to cast iteration, though. Dude, are you for real? Oh my god. What a tilt. What a joke. It's still hard for me to break, too. I mean, land Ragavan. You can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious. That ball was on the line. Shock flew up. What a disaster. I mean, it's not the end of the world. I have a lot of card advantage, but I have to spend a turn playing some draw card instead of just making my land drops pretty rough. All right, please, please remove all spells. Not that not hard. Like this. It really is. Not like this. Oh, and I get a Ragavan hit. 
Okay. Maybe? No. They didn't play Ragavan of their... Uh... Hmm. That's pretty good. Alright, hit me dealer. I think I win if I had a removal spell here. Don't need that. Nice. Um, so I want to keep the land. And there's a basic mountain here that's not too greedy. All right, five minutes. Let's not forget about the comrades. I mean, I don't want to gamble. I feel like I'm pretty far ahead. I wonder why they didn't cast Ragaman of the Treasure last turn. I mean, it was on in it was in play. My Ragaman was in play. Endurance might be clutch against Lurus too. It's kind of nice to have that option for now. We still have to get rid of Ragavan. Okay, their hand is just like weird, I guess. All right, I think I win. Five minutes is plenty too. <laughs> Easy clap. Curious to see what they have. Not a Ragavan, makes sense. Two card tucks in the yard. Did they not know about endurance? They do, right? Maybe not. All right, I don't think it really matters which one I play. I think maximizing mana is probably just the best. Maybe they, maybe they, maybe they realized they didn't have um, delirium. Is what happens potentially. All right. I don't think I need to gamble. I mean, they can Ragavan and give it first try to kill my Ice Fang. But who cares about free damage here? I don't think it matters. I think it matters just not getting blown out. Not even sure how they blow me out, but... All right, nice. I guess Torak, is Torak still scary? Maybe. Might just shoot them, honestly. I don't think I'm getting to uh to ultimate this game. Mm. That scared me. <laughs> Guess it's justice for all the times uh. I made someone else jump. Lena. Come around. All right, nice, 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 nice. Time log didn't lose me the game. Didn't lose me the match. Has the white march been for me? I haven't really drawn it. I, draw, I drew it once. 
I don't remember what happened. We're playing a Lurus deck. So I guess I'll uh I'll keep the the triple ending hand. Why did it start already? I'm like kind of unlucky. They targeted themselves to then shuffle. Are just playing it into uh, gotta start somewhere, I guess. Plus, that blurs. Can I just get Temple Garden here? Yeah, it's, it's possible I'm supposed to not get Trium. Doesn't want to play Ragavan. This way I can put Yurion in my hand next turn. They don't do anything. Retract was the 25 gifted subs. Y'all have been incredibly generous lately, or just in general lately, but I guess. Wow. Thank you so, wow. Thank you so much. 25 gifted subs. Um, yeah, it's, it's Shoop says, thanks for the gift sub, of course. I'm sure the the people who who give all these subs always appreciate it. Uh... If you thank them, but yeah, <laughs> her track says no probs. Enjoy the high quality emotes. Hey, Ryder, die, what's up? Also looks like I missed um, Top Deck Clans resub earlier. I had the sound off. You resub during the last match. So Top Deck Clans, thanks for the 11. But yeah, retract. Thanks for all the support. Just hanging out. Just also just being like just such a good present in chat always. Appreciate everyone who's just just keeps it positive and good vibes and, and stuff in chat even if i'm not always though i don't know even when i'm a little down on my plays and whatnot all right i'm gonna assume john in the lock here so i'm thinking about just putting yurion in my hands i could iterate and put yurion in my hands is that the game where we know that they have a Ragavan? Or is that a game? What's that Ragavan that's showing? Somehow I forgot what happened to their Ragavan. Is that Exile? That's their Exile zone. That's their Lurus zone. Hitterhead put Yurion in my hand is kind of a natural curve, I guess. All right. 
Yeah. Not super surprising. This way, if they put Lurus in their hand next turn, I got kind of a punish. Getting planes here. I mean, once in a while you get punished for getting a planes here. I get to keep it back in case they have Ragavan. I guess they're incredibly low. I just realized how low they are. Ragavan's not that scary. And I kind of want to have something to cantrip with Yuri on. All right, so my options are Solitude or Yurion, and we know they have Ragavan. I think it's easy, Yurion. Need to dodge on Holy Heat. Or Drone in the lock. That was good. Leftover quiche. Spinach and feta. Okay. Veil, relic, kind of sick. I drag those. That dispute is good against them. That's where this guy good to now. <laughs> Alright, what do you what do I board out? Counter spells can go. Spreading seeds is not great against them. Spreading seeds could go. And then the fives could could go. Ash shock force force of vigor Basaju dress down. Dress down against their depth shadow, Kappa. Basically, do I want all the fives? I think is the question. I think when you add Depth Shadow to the one drops, Explosives becomes probably good enough. <clears throat> counterspell, Counterspell. Counterspell is not bad against Iteration. I'm going to just do that. Honestly, still don't love having explosives in my deck, but I guess I'll try it out. Pay the explosive tax. Pretty sweet hand of anti Ragavan. Veil was turned to Ren. They kept seven. And they kept seven this time. They keep seven last game. Not again the ones last game. They're bubbling me. They're probably going to take Ren. To the Veil. They probably have another discard spell. I want to play explosives for one off good old stomping ground. Think of it, you know. Could get fragged by Colligan's command, they could just hold their one drops. The next explosive could have been Counterspell. Counterspell's not looking great in this hand. First open on today who's playing slower than me. It's nice for a change. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's kind of nice when they just take the veil. At least it's a relief. You know, you don't have to try and keep the hand up the whole time. 
you could go for some next level play. Like if you don't play take the veil the first time, then I'm probably just gonna tap out pretty pretty aggressively for the first turns of the game. All right, which land do I want to get? Hollow Fountain. Seems good. Basic Helen is not that either with Ice Fang. I might actually get Basic Helen. I don't think I get punished too hard for Basic Helen here. Also, just preserving my life total is kind of nice. You say that, but then you end up getting punished. Could have not sacked Pingy. But yeah, I was worried they would have dispute our peers. And then I take a lot of hits. I might just get out tempoed and die. Yikes. Well, they break last game. Maybe they can break again. That will help. I bricked earlier. All right, let's start by Teferi Minus. Let's put some pressure on. Letter at five. Didn't realize they were so low. Maybe that was bad. Now my Ice Fang doesn't have Death Touch. Hmm. Questionable. Yeah. All right. Removal like a boss. That kind of works. Fetch land. Fetch land would have been insane here. Ice Fang and Yurion in my hand. And some life. All right, the good news is we don't die to dress down, which is nice. So I don't have to chum block out of fear. I'm not sure I would either way, but. Uh oh. Thanks. They need unholy heat. Close game. I come out to like what either of us have uh, on top of the deck in the next few turns. They have Lurus too. The Lurus might be good. That was where it all fell off. All the whales fell off last week against Grixis Shadow when I. That whole Culligan Col command debacle where I just couldn't figure out why they played Culligan's command on their turn. <laughs> and I went, yeah. Okay, they bricked. Spell Pierce, nice. Very nice. No attacks, no removal. You love to see it. All right, now what? Start was the bottom gross on planes. So let's say spell is good, land is good. Ragavan, not so much. All right, let's main phase. Ice Fang. Oh, that's kind of an interesting one. Two one one hastes. I mean, I don't have to play it right away, but if they draw removals for Omnaf, it's minus four life. Let's see. If I draw land, I have enough. If I draw a fetch land next turn, I have enough for Yorion, no matter what. If I draw land number six, I'm going to be kind of sad. I played Sokenzan. If I draw a spell, it doesn't make a difference. So it's really just like the four life. Like what happens? I think I should hold it. I think I should hold it. Oh, 
Also, if they get aggressive, if they go removal on Omnath, attack, try to put pressure on, I just have lethal. It's kind of a dangerous lethal, though it leaves me on that. Okay, you're gonna know what I'm drawing. Hopefully, it's a prismatic ending. I'll take fetch land, I'll take prismatic ending, the fairy, I don't know, at all. Even explosives, not the worst. Explosives was pretty good for me. Could have been what? Could have been spreading seas, dress down, counters. Yeah. Now explosives was better than, much better than counterspell this game. That's for sure. It did the job. Wasn't anything flashy, but. They're attacking. So I die to Dresdown. Who's raiding? Snapbolt Games. Thank you for the raid, Snapbolt Games. Welcome, everyone. Hope Snapbolt Games had a great stream. I'm playing the Modern Showcase. Currently 3 and 0 up a game, so pretty decent. I think I should chomp. I mean, they could have dressed down Lightning Bolt, right? It's not. They're allowed. They're allowed to have that combination of cards. Who should I chomp with? Ragavan, because I have another one, probably. But. Uh, Might just be desperate attack, figure out that's the only way they can win. If they go for it. Isaac could randomly have team or battle rage. I don't know if people won't really play that card. <laughs> I can dash Ragavan. Right. The question is, oh, oh, they're just dead, right? Oh, no. Hmm. They could have a removal spell. Hmm. Man, this is kind of a tough spot, actually. I don't think I'm supposed to go for it. Because if they don't have a removal spell, I think I'm in a pretty good shape. And if they do have a removal spell, and I'm giving them more turns. Let's see, they use Drown. They use Drown in the lock to kill my Omnath. So they don't have Unholy Heat. And they sack the bubble, right? So they don't have Fatal Push. But they could have Lightning Bolt. It's kind of sick, actually. They don't have Unholy Heat, they would have used it over Drown. They don't have Fatal Push. Would it make sense for them to have Lightning Bolt? It's not impossible. I don't know how many bald the stock list shadow plays though. Let's see. Let's check the I don't know the latest modern prelim, I guess. Of course there's not a single death shadow deck. I don't know, maybe they only have one bolt. Let me find a list or two of Death Shadow. That list plays two Lightning Bolt, four Unholy Heats. All right. Man, it's so sick. If I don't go for it, if they don't have Bolt and I don't go for it, I put the Numb to free. I have a Nice Fang to Chump. Maybe they try to use a removal spell. Uh, would you have Bolt in hand the way the game was played? Just 
could have drawn the lightning bolts. How often do I lose if I don't go for it? Don't have a bolt. I get a treasure. I attack you with Ragavan. I have a nice thing. I have two one ones. You're at three. I still have Ragavan. You need to have a removal for Ice Fang. And then you still have to deal with. I mean, they could come back. I guess they, they could have drawn Fatal Push, right, too? Or Unholy Heat of the Bubble Draw. All right, next question. Do I make the token now? Probably. And then I can send one token in Ragavan and keep two Chum Blockers. But then I die to double removal spell. All right, I'm just going to attack with Ragavan. Coward. Coward stream. I would have won. I wonder if I do it now and show them. And save my treasure. I kind of want to save my treasure. Please play a removal spell. <laughs> Damn it. Ugh. For it all. I mean, if, yeah, I don't know. I figured if they don't have a one mana removal, then it's fell in good shape, but it's not even super true, honestly. They could just attack, just have one removal spell now. I said, don't have to. Walk. Patience from Zoe, waiting in the wave. Navi's about to be caught. Oh, there's the sleep, the sun. He catches everyone. Oh, this could be a total disaster. Back him in. Ravage on everyone. The black hole as well. Light of Adam turns it around. Ravage as well. Stop. Stolen by Dendi. Are you kidding me? I, I even made the super coward play, like not even sending one token. Wow. I wonder what the math is on that spot. You can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious! That ball was on the line. Shaw flew up. It was clearly it. Oh, did they have dressed down? Looks like they might have dressed down. Yeah. Easy clap. Whew. Never punished. So Kenzan, nuts. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what people were saying about that play. Just ask OP. Remember last time you talked yourself out of lethal? Waterfrodo says YOLO, Get Smart says I shove. Joe Cam says send just Ragavan and use the rest to block. Attack only with Ragavan and reveal bolt. What about sending Ragavan and a token? Maybe that's the that was the best play? No reason to rush. There's definitely a reason to rush. Because if I if I just if I play the way I did and their next turn is like channel or death shadow, I probably lose. Ha 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 